Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about different techniques we use to deliver radiation and its advancement and also address the queries generally patients have while undergoing radiotherapy. I am Dr. Harika, radiation oncologist working at Yashoda Hospital High Tech City. Radiotherapy is the main med modality of treatment in 50% of cancers and also used along with chemotherapy and surgery in many other cancers. Usually patients when they hear about radiotherapy they often get scared uh, because of lot of queries. Today we are going to address these queries and help them to uh, select their technique which, is, which helps them to complete the radiotherapy. So radiotherapy is better tolerable when compared to chemotherapy and surgery because it is a local therapy and it is completely painless. And the first query patients have when they come for radiotherapy OPD is uh, they can be close with their family members during while they are undergoing radiotherapy or not. Yes, absolutely, you can be close to them. Uh, it is not emitting any radiation from your body. So it is extremely safe to be close with them. And the second query patients have during radiotherapy is how much dose they, they receive and how many number of fractions they receive and why. Usually they compare with other patients that so and so patient has received only 25 fractions. Why I need 30 fractions? So this is the major query they undergo uh, during radiotherapy. That is why because the, the total dose and the number of fractions depends on in which stage they are and in what cancer they have from which location the cancer is arising. That is because the some cancers are very sensitive to radiotherapy so they require less dose radiation and less number of fractions. But some cancers they are very resistant and they need more radiation to get killed and more number of fractions. So it usually depends on what cancer they have and what stage they have been diagnosed. Third question is which technique they have to opt while undergoing radiotherapy. The steps of radiotherapy has already been discussed in the previous video so I am not going to, into those details. So we will come to the techniques. There are 6 to 7 techniques we use to deliver radiotherapy that is 2DRT, 3DCRT, IMRT, VMAT and MGRT and in few brain patients we use SRS, SRT. So coming to 2DRT and 3DCRT, this is the very old technique we use in 1900s. So around 60 to 80 years, radiation oncologists have been using these techniques to deliver radiation. So it is basically a box field which we open field from anterior direction or posterior direction or lateral direction in the shape of square or rectangle to cover the tumor. But actually the tumor is not in the in that shape, it is irregular in shape. So in that view, we have to include lot of normal tissue inside our radiation field. So this leads to lot of toxicity. Third technique is IMRT. IMRT is intensity modulated radiotherapy. In, in this technique, instead of giving an anterior or posterior box field, we deliver radiation adding number of beams in 360 degrees so that and modulate the intensity of the beam so that the radiation dose is delivered in the shape of the tumor and we need to include layer, less uh, normal tissues so that less toxicities. So in our studies it has shown that in pelvic cases that the toxicities has been reduced from 50% to 11% by using IMRT. So IMRT has been gold standards in nine, since 1980s in all type of cancers to reduce toxicities. So that the treatment time of IMRT is around 15 to 20 minutes. So this is a bit uncomfortable for the patient. So the next technique is evolved called VMAT. VMAT is volume modulated arc therapy. It is a kind of IMRT but which is delivered in arc mode. So the treatment time has been reduced to drastically that is 2 to 3 minutes when compared to 15 to 20 minutes in IMRT. But the dose delivery and toxicities are more or less similar in IMRT and VMAT because the dose distribution is same and the amount of normal tissues we include in the field is almost same in these two techniques. So as I have already discussed that we have to divide radiation dose into number of fractions because we cannot deliver the total dose in single fraction in view of normal tissue toxicities. So this, uh, when we are giving in so many sessions, for example, around 30 sessions, how we reproduce the patient position every day in these 30 fractions. This is a big challenge for radiation oncologists. So the technique called IGRT has been evolved, that is image guided radiotherapy. In spite of taking all the measures for immobilizing patient before starting radiation, we need additional imaging techniques 
to ensure that patient is in the same position during each session of radiotherapy. So IGRT is image guided radiotherapy. Usually you now all the conventional LINACs have been included. CT scan that is cone beam CT is attached to the machine to check the position of the patient daily on the couch. So when patient is in treatment room, we first position the patient and take a CT scan that is cone beam CT and we fuse this CT scan to our pre-planned CT and check all our volumes that is target and also normal tissue whether it is matching or not. If it is not matching, we reposition the patient again and take the scan again and recheck again. When it is matching, then we deliver the radiation. So as we are using CT scan every day to check the patient position, this is called image guided radiotherapy. The next technique is MGRT that is MR guided adaptive radiotherapy. MR LINAC is a machine in which MRI scan is included along with the linear accelerator that delivers radiation. So this MR LINAC machine has three advantages that M it MRI scan is already included in it. So everyone knows that MRI scan shows better soft tissue delineation. That means that tumor and normal tissues are better visualized in MRI scan. So it is better in quality and soft tissue delineation compared to CT scan. So the second advantage is adaptive treatment. What is adaptive treatment? Adaptive treatment is when we are treating the patient in 30 different sessions. Every day the patient is not in the same position and even the internal organs move every day, every minute in every patient. So adaptive treatment is customized treatment that is each day we adapt our contours and change the plan according to the position of patient on that day and the, taking into account the movement of normal tissues inside the body. When patient is in treatment room, we take MRI scan, we fuse this MRI with the previous MRI and we check all our targets and normal tissues whether they are in same position or not. And 100% it will not match. So we, we don't reposition the patient if it is not matching. We change our contours and re redraw it and replan it according to today's patient position. And also I take into account that normal tissues like bladder filling, rectum filling into account and contour those and customize the plan on that day. So in 30 days, we deliver 30 customized plan to the patient based on the day state patient position so that we don't miss the tumor and also in the same way we don't irradiate the normal tissues. In this way we can reduce the toxicities to the patient and also reduce our margins which we use to overcome this internal movement during radiotherapy. The other advantage of this machine is we can reduce the number of fractions that is hypofractionation. Hypofractionation is we give more dose in less number of fractions. As we can see the tumor and other normal tissues very clearly, we can reduce our margins and we can also give more dose in, in single day and reduce the number of fractions. This is more comfortable for the patient and will not affect the tumor control or any survival of the patient. The third advantage MRI LINAC has is we have real-time MRI running on the screen while we are delivering the beam actually. Okay, after all this planning, we are, when we are delivering the beam, that is more important rather than all these steps. So we have a real-time MRI image running and tracking the tumor on the screen when the beam is actually being delivered. In case of lung tumors, where the tumor can be potentially missed due to the respiratory movement, if it is moving out of our target region, we stop the beam and check the position again and we can deliver the radiation. In the next advancement, we have comprehensive motion management that will that machine will automatically track the tumor and stop the beam if it is going out of our target volume. As technology is never ending and it is continuously evolving, radiation oncology depends on technology. As technology evolves, we can deliver better radiation with less side effects and improve patient quality of life. And with this advanced technology, in many cancers, radiation is the main going to be the gold standard of treatment in future. If you have any queries regarding this topic, you can directly contact me or mention your queries in the below comment box. Thank you.